So it's been 11 official games so far, and when we look at the performance of the team, in most of the matches, the performance of, of the team was uh, below the expectations. When you first came here, the fans had high hopes about you, uh, but till now the team couldn't meet the expectations because the team have some difficulties in defense. The team makes a lot of individual mistakes in defense, and the team lets the opponent make a lot of shots. So when will the team be doing all the things that you want 100%. Uh, good that we lost only one match. Two. One in Lille and one against Galatasaray. Because the way you speak, it looks like we lost nine out of, out of ten. I agree in some, in some points. I agree that we have to improve. And that's what we do every day. We work. To try to to try to improve, that's what we do. Whenever you uh, take o over a team, you always created a Mourinho effect. But till now, here we couldn't see that Mourinho effect. When are we going to see that Mourinho effect? Are we going to see that Mourinho effect? And second question is that with some players, I see some negativity in their body language. If I'm not wrong, I do you also feel something like this? Look, what is called what is called the Mourinho effect? are trophies, cups. No, we cannot win trophies in uh, we cannot win trophies in September. There are no trophies to win in September. How can you see the effect? In every club where I've been, I won cups. Only Tottenham, I left the club two days before a cup final. But in every club, the effect was titles. I cannot win titles in September. I'm sorry. I'm not a specialist on body language. I'm, I'm aware of, um, of the emotional side of football. I'm aware of the, um, the pressure that some people cope better than other. I'm aware of uh, a certain culture that can help people to overcome the difficult moments and a certain culture that loves to push people down. And that, yes, that I can evaluate. And I can even thank, thank the stadium, thank the fans for the fact that they were, uh, in many occasions, supportive with uh, with the players, because the players they need um, they need support. This match today was, uh, like I told the players, a match with two faces. One face is the Europa League, where we need points. We don't know how many we need in this new format. The first thing to do is to get the three points at, at home. And the, and the second phase of, uh, of the game is always the difficulty of playing a game after a loss, after an important loss, after a week where uh, you enjoy very, very much to, to push um, people down. But uh, that I can see, the emotional side of, uh, of football. Um, body language, I'm not an expert. Um, I'm not the guys that judge the program Dancing with the Stars. I'm, not, I'm just a football coach. And the emotional side of football, I know it well.